Elizabeth and Max and any other little boys and girls who are watching Storytime with Noni today. Do you remember last time um, what this is? This was a little bag with lesson stones in it and we were sitting outside where we could see the green hills and we were talking about a little boy by the name of David. That's right. Do you remember what David did? He took care of his father's sheep. That's right. He was called a shepherd. Yes. And the lesson that we're going to talk about today that David learned was the wait patiently lesson. Have you ever had to wait patiently for something? What about Christmas? Do you remember what happens at Christmas? You guys put up Christmas trees and people start buying presents and you start seeing presents under the tree all wrapped up and you don't know what's in them and you have to wait patiently for Christmas morning and it's hard because you want to know what's inside those boxes and those bags. It's hard to wait patiently. Well, waiting patiently was a lesson that David got to learn and practice. And I'm going to read you a story about David. This is Saul. He was a good king when he obeyed God. But one day, Saul stopped obeying God. And so, God told Samuel that he wanted a new king for his people. God told Samuel to go to Jesse's house. Now, Jesse had eight sons, and God wanted one of these sons to be the new king. So, Jesse called his sons together, and Samuel looked at the first one and was thinking, Surely, this is the one God has chosen because he's very, very handsome. But God said, No, you're thinking about what he looks like, but I am looking at his heart. So, Samuel looked at Jesse's sons one by one, and God had not chosen any of them. Do you have any more sons? Samuel asked. Well, there is one more, said Jesse, but he's just a shepherd boy. He's out taking care of the sheep. Well, tell him to come, said Samuel. When he came, God said, this is the one. And you know what his name was? David. Samuel told David that one day he would be the new king. Well, boys and girls, I can just imagine all the questions that David must have had. Like, if I'm chosen to be king, do I get to go to the palace right now and become king? And I can just imagine Samuel saying, No, David, I don't know when you're going to become king, but I know God has chosen you. You're going to have to wait patiently. And that was something that David had already practiced. So he knew that he didn't need to grumble and complain or make it happen. He didn't wake up every morning and go, Well... I wonder if God really did choose me to be king because I've waited a long time now and I'm tired of waiting. No, David had already learned to obey God and to trust him and so it made it easier to wait patiently. And you know the most important thing is that David loved God and so he was willing to wait for God to do what God had said he would do. And so boys and girls, next time you're in a situation where you have to wait patiently, think about David. Think about the lessons that he learned. Love God. Trust God. Obey God. And wait patiently. Alright. I love you and I will talk to you later next time on Storytime with Noni. Bye-bye.